Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Land Plays. The Binding of Isaac, Wrath of the Lamb. We're due for an Isaac run. I'm, I had a big smile on my face when starting this run, so I was like, oh, we must be due for a random run, because obviously, I would only have had a great Isaac, or a great run last episode if I'd been Isaac. That's not true though, I was Blue Baby, and yet we, uh, wouldn't even, oh, that's a really good first item. I wouldn't necessarily say against all odds, but, uh, you know, pulled out a surprisingly good Blue Baby run, even though we saw Mom's knife, thought about it for a second and said, you know what, no. Antoine, let it go. I don't need uh, your handouts game. We did become guppy though, so maybe everything that I just said is for not. In any case, bad damage, but uh, first floor is basically just your, your standard warm up round type stuff. Let's see who we're gonna be going up against. Duke of Flies, super stoked uh, to have four bombs, which should make this fight a lot easier to deal with. I'm gonna try to only use one, just in case we have a chance to uh, maybe save a key, ride a cowboy by getting into our first, uh, you know, key required item room. Uh, or even shop, just by bombing our way in. But we don't have very much money, so the shop is maybe a little bit of a pipe dream right now. Let's hope for a good item. Well, let's hope for a good reroll. Yeah, that's acceptable. I actually love getting the spirit heart early. Let's see what the tarot card is first. It's the world. We'll take that with us. We'll take the Polaroid. Could actually get good use out of that. And we'll see what the pill is. Tears up. I would say that was a, a really good turn of events there. Plus, we have an extra key now and an extra bomb. Probably won't go into this room yet. Just, uh, we'll use that as a reroll potential thing a little bit later. All right, well, unfortunately, we can't come back out of this room. I'm hoping that we'll be able to get two rerolls here, but, you know, as you might expect, I'm a little bit skeptical. Could have maybe kicked that bomb over if I'd uh, done it in time. I don't think this will find a second secret room or anything. Why not give it a shot, right? Uh, bad luck. But it looks like we might be able to bomb our way into the shop. Maybe. We might actually be able to just open up that golden chest now that we have two keys, but I'm a little scared about that. Let's put this bomb down. And then I move. That's my problem with this peep fight. Okay. Save two bombs, because you're going to need two bombs. We should be able to take peep out very, very easily. We pretty much have a 100% chance to take a deal with the devil, and everything's fair game here. Brimstone, Mom's Knife, maybe not Guppy, but I never, never really aspire to become Guppy, or at least I only aspire to become Guppy rarely. It sort of just happens a lot of the time. Good. HP upgrade, pretty much exactly what I would have wanted. And inside of our shop, not the shop, secret room, not secret room, deal with the devil room. We have nine lives and uh, the nail, both of which I think are re-rollable. Sure, I'll take Lord of the Pit. Bit of a different item than uh, I'm used to having at this point. That's okay. Just gonna explore a little more of this floor before I make any rash decisions. I think there's a little bit more potential than I might have otherwise thought. So just kill the spiders. I'm gonna try to blow these guys up, like, right there. So that's not our secret room. That's good. If that was our secret room, we might be in a little bit more of a uh, tricky position. So we're gonna go to our item room. We're not gonna... Uh, we are gonna have one last reroll, actually. Let's use our key here. Celtic Cross, it's worth picking up. If I could actually hit it, that would be good. Uh, we'll see what we have in our curse room. We'll lose half a spirit heart in the process. Oh, our secret room is actually over there. That's a surprise. And not necessarily a great surprise. One more cent, please. Oh. Are we fast enough to get out without losing one full spirit heart? Well, we didn't lose anything on the way out. Okay, so that was the right plan. I'd rather save our bomb. Okay, we're gonna see if we can just get enough money to make this shop worthwhile. Or if we get another key. Oh, we're so close. We're one cent away. Hopefully we get one more cent at the end of this. The problem is there's no other way for me to... Like, I can open up the golden chest, but the odds of it being what we need are so low. We need a penny right now. As of right now, we need a penny. And we need a key. I'm very glad to have gotten another spirit heart. But, uh... It's a tough one. Let's try it. We have the hanged man. Absolutely worthless. Uh, okay. Well, that'll be it for this. Actually, you know what? We'll look for a second secret room. Probably unlikely to do it for us, but we'll see. There's three different locations for it that I can see. And we blew it. <laughs> Still, I consider this floor pretty good. Lots of spirit hearts bagging us up for the next floor. Our, uh, our final little, you know, gambit there at the end didn't necessarily pay out fantastically, but hey, we found our secret room right off the bat right here. That's valuable. 
Inside we find a lot of money and a free trip to the curse room, which I will go to. Because we have a reroll ready. Plenty of money to go to the shop now. And this turned out to be mostly worthless, but hey, have a spirit heart down the drain. That's kind of what you'd expect from a curse room. On average, or uh, it's median payout is things that are angry at you. But over time, it ends up being worth it if you if you play it enough. All right, two bombs. This is re-rollable, I think. The reason I think it's re-rollable is because we our re-roll demands are kind of lowered on this floor based on the fact that we have no keys. If we get more keys, we may just want to take Poison Touch. We can bomb our way into the shop. That's a big one. I'll wait to do that until we have another re-roll ready. But uh, yeah, that's that's actually huge that we're actually able to do that. If we could just get one key in the process, even better. So this will give us our reroll. Easy room as well. No key. Hanged man. Funny joke. World card I, st I still think is basically worthless. But this could be big plays here, especially if there is a, uh, a good item and a key. That would allow us to turn this all around and maybe get some momentum for the future. Item is uh, Notched Axe. There is a key. Notched Axe is bad, though. Reroll that into Mom's Purse. Sure. I mean, it doesn't seem that amazing, but it's probably good enough. Especially if we get some more trinkets. This will incentivize gambling a little bit more on fortune tellers as well. Kind of a weird strategic situation on this one thus far. HP upgrade. So it was well worth buying the key in order to get that. And this floor is starting to turn out okay. It took a little bit of, uh, you know, fancy footwork, but that's okay. Oftentimes it does. I think I'm just going to take Poison Touch because I don't think we're going to get another reroll before our boss uh, to use. And I'd rather have our reroll ready for the boss room because Poison Touch is fine. I know Biznap's opinion on Poison Touch, and as usual, on paper, he's right. But uh, Isaac isn't played on paper. That being said, he's still a lot better than me. Whether it's played on paper or, uh, you know, digitally, he's got the edge. Like, seriously, he's... Have you seen him play Guitar Hero? He's got the edge beat. You two be damned. Another key. Useful for the next floor, probably. Always like when you have a Lord of the Pit and uh, less than three, it looks like you're like a weird flying nutsack. Which was my nickname uh, when I was on the diving team in high school. This is pretty much perfect for, uh, you know, reroll order. Got lucky and picked the right direction. 50-50 chance from that uh, last intersection. Really doubt we're going to have a deal with the devil. Because we had one on the last floor, but uh, stranger things have happened, of course. And our damage is fine, you know, we have quad shots, uh... These guys are gonna become pennies when they die, is that what this champion does? That would be fine by me, give me enough money to, you know, basically tackle one more shop. It looks like they give me like nine cents, which is exactly where we need to be. There we go. We'll see if that number ends up being, uh, correct. Three so far. Kinda surprised with the tankiness here. But this is probably, you know, the champion you want to fight. Especially if you don't have unlimited money, which obviously we don't. Four. Five, six. Looks like seven, eight, nine to me. Come on. Come on. Any minute now. Seven. Oh, Jesus Christ. Eight. Nine, I think. We did get a deal with the devil. I kind of hope it's Krampus for once, because we need a reroll to use on that. So neither Rage nor uh, the Parasite is necessarily worth it. Let's reroll them. And I will take Brimstone here. Quad Shot plus Brimstone, you know, not the world's greatest combo. But I think it's, uh, it's a combo that's worth taking. And maybe it's actually only bad if you take Quad Shot after taking Brimstone. Let's see what our charge time's like. Quite long. Like, like, really, really long. Uh, that's not the kiss of death. It might be a little annoying, though. We'll take the range upgrade just so it doesn't show up again, I guess. And it will be down to the next floor. Uh, this will be Caves 2. Without a reroll, I don't think there's much point in going there. The really good thing that we've got going on here beyond Brimstone is obviously, uh, two keys. So this gives us a lot of potential on this floor if things go our way. Which is debatable. I, I'm very confident that we won't get a deal with the devil on this floor, so I figured why not sacrifice, you know, half a spirit heart to come in here. <laughs> well, that might seem bad, but we it, we didn't break even on that room. Let's put it that way. We learned something. We gained some information. Now we know there is an HP upgrade pill in our rotation. 
and we know the HP downgrade pills in our rotation, and we know what they are. That's good news for us. We can uh, we can use that to our advantage. We can use both of those pills to our advantage in, in different situations. It's just kind of unfortunate because really any other pill would have been better there. Maybe except the tears downgrade because I'm already firing so GD slowly. So in order for this run to work now, considering our insane charge time on Brimstone, we need a lot of damage. Or we need to fight enemies uh, or you know, be on rooms that have very, very few enemies. Maybe just like a lot of tiers upgrades would do it for us too. I guess what I'm trying to get at is there's multiple paths to success here and uh, I don't know all of them by heart. But I'm definitely being more careful about my aim because when we miss, it takes us a long time to get back uh, to where we want to be. So whenever they cross the same threshold, we're going to try to shoot, hit as many uh, of these individual pieces as possible at the same time and just get these last two right now. All right. Sure, this is pretty good. Extra HP, great, and shoot the whoop. Gets rerolled into a damage upgrade and a speed upgrade. Pretty important. Not our secret room, much to my surprise. And just don't lose this spirit heart and you can start to, uh, well, not start, but you can continue to build something good here. It's frustrating when we can't get enemies all in like one, uh, one line with one another. We could really use an orbital here just to help us out in situations like this. Oh, this is the perfect room. Greed, maybe? No. Uh, instead, we get the ladder, which is effectively just worthless for us. Let's see what we've got in our item room. Ten bombs. I'll take the ten bombs because I'm going to be re-rolling the ladder to hopefully get something better. Two of clubs. Let's double our bombs. Takes us up to 28. We can keep this world card. And, uh... Just in case, we'll come in here, because we're not going to get another reroll anyway. And this stay, stay together, stay together. Good stuff. Our speed is huge, so we should have no problems getting out of this one. Brother Bobby. Uh, it's a lot worse. <laughs> I should look for a secret room. It's probably down here. Yeah. And with the amount of money that we have, I kind of feel like I should buy the pill in the shop. I'm a little embarrassed to admit, but uh, I can't remember whether this is an HP upgrade or an HP downgrade. We should buy the key, too. It's a health upgrade, so that was well worth doing. And uh, even if it did weirdly change color when we picked it up for reasons that are uh, unbeknownst to me. We'll just get to a half-heart interval. And we're not going to be taking anything from our boss room this time, but that's okay. We got two HP on this floor and a damage upgrade. Ah, well, there's our full HP. We just left it behind there because I'm kind of an idiot sometimes, I guess. Should have a pretty good chance to snag a deal with the devil on this floor, which, again... Oh, thank you, Celtic Cross. Uh, we'll be looking to get uh, marked or packed, I guess, primarily. Although, to be honest with you, I'd probably trade our, H uh, our HP and Brimstone away for Mom's Knife in a heartbeat. That would nullify a lot of the potential problems that this run is fraught with right now. I really thought I could get all of them. I'm surprised that I didn't get that last one. And I'm very surprised that I took damage there, but so be it. That's the way the cookie crumbles sometimes, I guess. Cookie Crumbles would be a great name for, like, a kid's noir detective. That barely makes any sense. I am going to go to our uh, curse room just to check. Okay, we got flies. I think it's probably worth checking this out as well. It wasn't. You gotta admit when you're wrong sometimes. I really wish that I had any other way of killing that guy. Because it would have been so nice to just have a charge built up for when this started. And it's really, this is teaching me a lesson in discipline. It's very important for me to uh, save my shot until it's most appropriate to use. Like that was pretty good, for example. Then we just, you know, wait for this guy to come up. Oh, that was a little close. Might not want to tempt fate like that again. Magician card pretty much worthless for us here. I don't know when I'm going to use this world card. We haven't had really an opportunity to do so yet. Well, we've had opportunities. We haven't really had a need to do so yet, though. Let's get these guys all more or less lined up. And then we can probably just walk this dude along the spikes. Be a little tricky about it, you know? Or we could just do that as well. Goat hoof, uh, not necessary. I mean, the Polaroid hasn't really done anything for us yet. 
And we might have, I forgot that we had mom's purse, right? Yeah, might as well take the goat hoof. Recorded a lot of Isaac runs today. They're starting to run together in my head a little bit, you know. It's kind of hard to keep them distinct, but uh, I distinctly remembered picking up mom's purse. Key. Hopefully we'll have a chance to use that, uh, like, literally right now. That went okay. That went very well. Let me just dodge left and right a little bit, and there we go. Judas Tongue. Yeah, we'll take that instead of Goat Hoof. So I was actually thinking that maybe Blue Candle is something that I want. Very happy to have that. Uh, but I think I'm going to re-roll it instead and stick with our D6. I'm just going to pick it up. The thing about the, uh, Blue Candle, of course, is that it would give us... Uh, yeah, Polaroid's still better than Judas Tongue, or than uh, Goat Hoof here. Uh, it would give us quick damage, and then we could charge up Brimstone... But I'm not really good at multitasking with those two items. I usually end up, uh, you know, using Blue Candle and never using Brimstone, which is just lame. Really thought that would be the secret room there. That's okay, though. Easiest room all time. Uh, we'll, uh... We'll be looking to go back to that shop. I'm really hoping to get something that makes the D6 better. Because we're, you know, we have a very narrow set of items that we're really looking for on this run. So we have Book of Shadows, but I think it's best to go back. Uh, even though I want to reroll Book of Shadows, I think it's best to go back and uh, reroll the shop item instead, because this is probably, in all likelihood, going to be the last shop uh, that doesn't have greed. Speaking of which, hello. We didn't quite one-shot him, but we're pretty close. And that becomes the Steam Sale. Well, we're not going to have too many opportunities here. So I think we'll just take the Steam Sale. Like, too many rerolls. I would rather reroll uh, Book of Shadows than the Steam Sale, for example. And we already had a Steam Sale back in our shop over here, so I don't know what's up with that, really. I was kind of hoping that if I picked up the Steam Sale here, it would just kind of weirdly disappear. I don't know what happens if you pick up two of them. It might crash the game. Let's try not to find out. We get the 9 volt, which is pretty much exactly what we'd want, because now we can take that 9 volt back to Book of Shadows and reroll it right away. And we have something that has made the D6 an awful lot better. What's my ideal item? Sad Onion, maybe? I mean, Polyphemus, but... If we're talking about, like, items that would really, really n nullify or compensate for the few problems that we have right now. Sad Onion's up there. Skinny Odd Mushroom, even. Okie dokie. Sometimes you have to bend the world to your will, apparently. There's Skinny Odd Mushroom. Should raise our rate of fire. It, it did a lot, actually. Uh, we seem to be charging our shot an awful lot faster. Now, of course, we will be doing less damage. That is a compromise I am totally willing to make. Monster 2, uh, I don't feel too bad about this. He's kind of a tanky boss. Sort of. And no deal with the devil. Very surprising to me, but the HP upgrade is big in and of itself. Down to the next floor again. So, our odds of getting a deal with the devil if I don't take red heart damage are super high. Except for the fact that I have to find some way to teleport out of the boss fight. It's not out of the question, it's just less likely. I'll open it. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty psyched to have gotten Steve in there. It compensates maybe for the damage downgrade. Our shop is not going to have greed in it, which kind of blows my mind, honestly. This is working out pretty nicely so far. Maybe we'll get super lucky, and second secret room. Maybe it can't even be adjacent to uh, special rooms like that. Peeper's Eye, not good. Not, as, it's not shit tier. It's low, though. Pretty solid. I will come in here because we've taken a couple of books out of the rotation. And I would rather reroll the library to try to make it more useful in the future than reroll Peeper's Eye. Peeper's Eye is not good, but uh, the double item room is great. That would be something I'd be more into. Our charge time could still get faster, but it's okay. And I would rather, really rather keep Polaroid Judas Tongue because we could get a lot of value out of that. Uh, Judas Tongue on a uh, deal with the devil. Probably on the wound part one if I had to be realistic, but there's a chance we can make it work for us earlier. Another tiers upgrade. Gotten very lucky so far considering we haven't had like Luckfoot or PhD. Uh, almost all of our pills have been good. And even the one that was bad, we compensated for it, you know, immediately proceeding and taking it in the first place. I don't feel too bad about this. Love when you do enough damage to an enemy that it doesn't even spawn the flies, like these human popcorns. It's just like, alright, I'll take it. You got me. We shouldn't do what I just did there. Hopefully we have an arcade 
we'll probably get enough money regardless, but uh, we should save our money. I want to be able to play that judgment, but we want to be able to make the shop worthwhile too. Sacrificial dagger is acceptable in my opinion. Uh, left hand. Again, we could take this instead of the Polaroid temporarily, or we could permanently replace Judas Tongue with it, but I prefer having Judas Tongue for the potential deal with the Devil on Womb Part 1, which is pretty much a certainty if we get some Spirit Hearts and we, uh... uh Monster Manuel. And we, uh... Don't get a deal with the Devil on this floor, which again is probably the most likely turn of events. We haven't, uh... We haven't seen Book of Revelations yet, right? So I'm pretty confident that we'll, uh, have that in our in our library pool still. That was a weird kind of finish there. We hit the enemies on the outside, but none of the ones in the middle. But still, this is uh, more than enough money now to actually make our shop worthwhile, which is good. Come back and reroll. You know, we've got a lot of backtracking to do here, but all things considered, there are worse things that we could be dealing with right now. Thought we might as well check for a secret room while we were here. And I'm imagining Book of Revelations and Book of Belial. I think those are our last two books. And we could get some value out of Book of Belial, but it's not necessarily as exciting as uh, getting two fresh items and also getting uh, to keep our D6 in the process. So we're hoping for a couple of things. Good Shop would be great, so we don't have to waste any more rerolls than is necessary. Uh, arcade would be great, so we could... Uh get into this boss trap room and maybe have a reroll engine if we get an unsabbit here. Which we don't, but we get the coin purse. And to be honest with you, I think the coin purse is worth buying. That's two tiers upgrades at least. One question mark, and one question mark, okay. Bad trip, that's fine. And a telepills that didn't really do anything. Well, now we know what the telepills is, if it shows up again, we can use that to get out of the room. But I think I'm gonna buy the tarot card. All right, this is another re-rollable item, obviously. Uh, why are we gonna buy the tarot card? Because it could be Fool, Hermit, Stars, or Moon. It's actually a pretty solid chance, I guess. Uh, no arcade, so boss trap room's pretty unlikely. But if it's if it's one of those, it works out very well for us. I know this will cost us our spirit. Well, never mind. <laughs> it could have cost us our spirit heart. And we have enough money to possibly win something on the judgment anyway. We'll see, though. It's the magician. Total waste. Oh, well. What do we re-roll? We re-roll the library. We've invested this much. And let's go pick up our items, which means we will get Peeper's Eye. We'll be leaving the Unicorn Horn. Maybe Judgment gives me the compass. Maybe Judgment gives me Nun's Habit. We'll see. Maybe Judgment gives me nothing and takes all my money. Also a distinct possibility. The quarter, I think he'll probably give me something now that I have 36 cents. And uh, extra speed plus range from Mini Mush. It's not that great, but it's a passive. I'll take it. When we're small, does it make our range smaller? Like, yeah, I was gonna say, I think the shot still stretches across the screen. It just looks like it doesn't because we're so tiny. We'll see though. You know, having low range with Brimstone is not really one of the main selling points. What do you got for me? What do you got for me? That was quick. All right, I'm happy with it. I'll take it. Let's test it. Okay, please. Foot. Ah, uh, it's hard to tell. We'll just put a bomb down here. I know we can use the foot to do it. That was a weird shot that worked out. Charge is working. We're doing a ton of damage with our charges. You know, it's no polyphemus territory, but we're getting there. Two more hits should do it. There's, a, oh, maybe three now, because I messed that one up. Nope, still two. And we get meat. That's pretty much exactly what we want. All right, down to the next floor. Utero one. I'm very tempted to use this world card we've been holding for 100 years, but I'm not going to. Picking up meat is a, uh, I think it's a tears end damage upgrade. It seems like my rate of fire is, uh, is improved. Maybe not drastically, but improved nonetheless. Weird looking brimstone run, but it's getting the job done, as you can clearly see. And again, what's the what's the ticket on these uh, Gertie Jr. fights? If you stay parallel, it's very difficult uh, for Gertie Jr. to hit you off of a freakish bounce, which is normally how you end up taking damage. Ah, uh, it did work, and we actually had a chance to test. Oh man, Max's head's so good. I'll even take the bombs. Uh, we had a chance to test, and yeah, it's a superficial range downgrade. We actually still have the same range we had before. Max's head is a super good pickup, though. Oh, wow. Lucky me. 
All right. Three didn't die in one shot. Very close. And we should be pretty much guaranteed to get a deal with the devil. What am I looking for? Give me the mark and the pact. I'll take him. That felt real good. Even with the slowdown. Max's head, nice damage upgrade. We've had a lot of those over the course of this run so far. But it never hurts to get more. That's uh, almost at uh, the level of keys where we want to be. Found our boss room. I will go to our curse room as well because um, we have a lot of spirit hearts and I would love to get a free deal with the devil item, which we did. So we'll put this down, reroll it. Yeah, okay, free packed. That feels pretty solid. And this is trademark Northern Lion Luck. What can I say about this? It's going fantastically. There's no way I could be like, well, you know, I've played really well. I think I've played all right, but mostly, uh, you know, good rerolls in the game really looking out for me for reasons that are unbeknownst to me. No deal with the devil kind of blows my mind. That being said, we're down to the next floor and not too salty about it. Womb 2, Curse of the Lost. More rooms is fine by me. More rooms to generate uh, rerolls, get consumables from. Maybe some lucky item pedestals, who knows, maybe we come across a library in the course of our uh, actions here. Despite our HP, or maybe because of our HP, I'm not really excited about the possibility of finding an arcade. I would rather just, you know, stick with the amount of HP we have and be happy with it. Thought I could do that. Alright, let's see what we got in here. Just bombs, that's okay. At this point, uh, we're, we're in the driver's seat to say the least. This is probably a one run, I'll admit. Oh man, thank you, Celtic Cross. Come on, dude. I'm willing to go pretty hard on this. Even though I said I didn't want to go in on an, on, on an arcade. This is better than an arcade, maybe. Two of hearts in here, two of spades. Uh, I'll use, and then maybe a second two of spades. Bad trip. Two of diamonds. Alright, well, that's fine. Well, with this bad trip pill, we can pretty much... Oh man, health up. We can pretty much go as uh, low as we want, and bad trip will... Well, it won't take us back. It has to be... Uh, we have to be absolutely out of it before it'll take us back. If that makes sense. Like, we have to not have the spirit hearts backing us up either. I'm just gonna go. Uh, I know that some people will take issue with that and, and find it lazy, and you're not wrong about that. But at the same time, you know, when you put in your dues, and you're the president of the company, I think you proved all you needed to prove. You don't need to stay late, you know, on a Thursday. Go home, spend time with your family, you know. They, they're still, uh... Their destiny is still uh, up in the air. That analogy makes no sense. I pride myself on weird analogies. That one just doesn't work. I think I picked up that... Yeah, I did pick up that red heart before we came up, which is great. How about another tiers upgrade? Don't mind if I do. And... Uh, yeah, I mean, this is probably where we would use the world card. And hey, I found out that I was going in the wrong direction. Good to know. Another health upgrade as well. Look, I don't control my luck, okay? I just, I play as much as I can, and when it works out, I'm here for it. I apologize if you're offended by my, uh, good fortune here, but it is really outside of my control. This is, uh, your ideal Gertie Jr. Because we can just hang out over top of some rocks and, uh, really not be in much risk whatsoever. These could come in handy at some point. Pretty unlikely, but maybe. And we don't need anything on this run. Normally, this is where I would fill our time with, oh, what could make this run better? Well, there are things that would make it better. Damage, tears. That's about it. Uh, everything else is working out pretty nicely for me. Um, but we're, we're so set that that feels disingenuous. Uh, yeah, we definitely don't want the push pin. We do definitely want the Polaroid, though. Judas Tongue isn't going to help us unless we get a jo Joker card, which is not too likely, but it could happen. But it's definitely better than the Pushpin, which, like, literally does nothing for us here. So we're going to do, uh, you know, the double threat here. Normally you hear about the triple threat. The double threat does what it does as well. Just one less. We're going to throw bombs in there occasionally. Mostly at this point to speed up the fight. Occasionally we're going to take damage that will proc our uh, Celtic Cross. It's not really a proc, because it's not random, but you know what I'm trying to say with that. It'll activate our Celtic Cross. Uh, and that's good for me, because Sacrificial Dagger is a great familiar for when that happens. I've already killed uh, Isaac here. Okay, 
careful. Two more to kill. I bet we can do it in one shot. Ah, you bunged it up for me. Not you watching, but that jerk who moved out of the way. Move, jerk, get out the way. Well, I have to take more synergy. PhD would fill our HP. That was a weird sentence to say, but I think it's worth re-rolling instead of uh, getting rid of a pedestal. Let's see what our deck of cards gives us the lovers. Pretty much the same thing accomplished here, except uh, we get to keep a pedestal, which is mostly just luck, but, you know, I can't help but feel that I made the right decision in the context of the events there. So I'm waiting for, like, more bomb flies to spawn. Like this, because when the bomb flies spawn, it makes our life substantially easier because it does, like, way more damage to Loki as a result. Case in point. Mr. Boom, another bomb item, but not one you really desire. Careful. Okay, another spirit heart. We're not losing this one. And, uh, we've won it in a different fashion than we've won a lot of the runs recently, which feels very good to me. Keep mixing it up, you know, having some fun with it. Uh, sure. Lard's a pretty good item when it shows up on the chest usually, but we're in the kind of position where we don't need more HP unless we, like, really, really, really bung it up. I'm talking, like, some Miss South Carolina 2007 type stuff. Uh, we're not at that level of ineptitude, I would say. I hope, at least. So we're gonna kill Slot Blast. Because if we needed any more help, this could give us, you know, maybe one of the best tarot cards in the game. Or maybe a dog shit tarot card, or maybe Bob's Rotten Head, but, uh, you know, you gotta, you gotta take a risk. Nice damage there. Sun card. Okay, again, what did I tell you? This is just my luck in a nutshell. No, this is my, yeah, we all know where that could go. So these are gonna get rerolled. Bum friend especially, just annoying. Sure, you know, relic, chocolate milk, ghost baby, chocolate milk accepted, those are okay items. I've stopped thinking that chocolate milk is okay because I realize that, you know, the fact that it causes me incredible pain in my hand is actually, like, worth way more to me on a personal level in a negative way than the fact that it could raise our damage. So I consider that a negative. You may not if you're still, uh, young and full of, uh, vigor. No risk of, like, tendinitis through years of playing computer games in a very unergonomic fashion, that's fine. I'm starting to get a little scared here, but, you know, I have the sun card, so, no, I'm not. I'm surprised it could stand up to one full shot there. Not surprised it couldn't stand up to two. These will be re-rolled again. And that's bad. These are, I'm deliberately, like, not going to the ends of the, uh, map here. At least, I'm trying not to. Uh, so I can get as many re-rolls as possible, just for fun, but... Like, these are not good items. Brother Bobby is, at best, okay. The other two, just not worth anything in our current context. But, did I just say the relic is bad? Because I don't mean that. I just mean it's bad for a late game context. I didn't say the relic. It was a little Chad. My bad. Uh, okay. Again, these are not what I'm looking for. Uh, what am I looking for? This It has to be a damage or a tears upgrade, and maybe even not a tears upgrade. Pretty much has to be a damage upgrade, or I, I can't be convinced. Come at me, man. I was gonna give you a fair shake. Take you out with Sacrificial Dagger. Oh, yeah. I, I dodged uh, poorly there. Almost even more poorly there. It's a long floor. Longer than it needs to be, that's for sure all these, even without picking them up. Certainly not good enough. And I think the game's like, I'm gonna make you go through these items, motherfucker, and you know what? I'm happy to do it. Until now, because now I found the boss room. Now I'm no longer happy to do it. Now it becomes a chore, so I'm just gonna beat the boss. You did it to yourself, game, and that's what really hurts. Drop this down here. Poison damage. I mean, we can tank it. Let's try to have a semblance of fighting strategically, though, because again, whenever possible, you know, it's it's worth noting this one is all this run is already won, but I'd like to win it without using the sun card because that at least helps mitigate some of the like oh you got carried by the sun card comments. Most of the time when I get the sun card, like maybe not most of the time, but a lot of the time when I get the sun card, I end up not even using it. So yes, I get carried by it, 
but I, I rarely need the, the help getting carried at that point. But in any case, sometimes I do. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the run. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.